morning everyone we are here in the ferry terminal uh headed to st bart's so um we've already done anguilla obviously we're in st martin right now and uh, we're heading to st bart's so um i see that it's a very beautiful place in pictures can't wait to explore it we'll be there for the whole day then we'll be coming back to st martin and then we will head back home to new jersey real soon so um stay tuned with me if you want to check out some really nice places in st bart's follow me okay so if you're wondering uh how much would it be to go from st martin to st bart's um there are many different uh places where you can take this uh route uh in phillipsburg by the airport you can also do it um uh near the great bay beach and uh, we've been usually using Marigo, uh, the French side, the port uh, to, to go to Anguilla and to go to now St. Bart's. So this trip um, is actually cheaper in Marigo. We paid about 73 euros uh, per person for a round trip, a day trip. So that's what I would recommend. All right, so, so we're taking off now and we'll be there soon. For real, for real. Now we are here in St. Bart's and immediately we get blown away by the European culture, or the French culture here. Our wonderful, luxurious stores right here in the port. And honestly, uh, out of the three islands that we visited on this trip, I think this one really looks like the most developed, um, really strong European roots here. Um, I think much more than in, um, in St. Martin. Very, very nice. Scooters, restaurants, and you really do feel like you're not, well, you know, you are in the Caribbean, but it feels like you're literally in Europe, an island in Europe. Gives me like a French, Italian feel here. Got the Prada. Bulgari, Louis Vuitton. Wow, beautiful mall. So this is why there are many, um, many famous people that decide to make their trip all the way here to uh, St. Bart's. Smaller island in the Caribbean, more upscale. Really is beautiful.
and the beauty, the colors here. Spectacular. Look at this street. Look at that. Truly a beautiful place. Now we're gonna see if we can get a rental here. Uh, hopefully we can. So that way we can explore the rest of the island. But uh, again, you wanna come here, you better have some bread. Because it's very luxurious. After that adventurous uh, ride through St. Bart's, I gotta tell you, it's so beautiful. This is a beautiful, beautiful place. Uh, we are currently in Saline Beach, uh, Praia de Saline. I guess that's how they say it. Uh, look at look at this. Look at this painting right here. I can imagine that's how it must look in the nighttime here with the moon shining. Man, I gotta tell you, uh, there's a little bit of regret uh, for me for not uh, staying here longer. We're only here for this day. And already I have a feeling in my heart that I need to return to St. Bart's. Um, let's see how the beaches are. But uh, I feel like one day is not gonna be enough to check out everything that uh, St. Bart's has to offer when it comes to food and all that kind of stuff. So best believe that I have to return. Uh, I was talking with my wife. And we're thinking of maybe doing a trip uh, to Puerto Rico next year and um, basically staying like a week and a half in Puerto Rico and then coming straight over here from Puerto Rico. So let's see if that, uh, if that works, if that makes sense for next year. But um, it's beautiful. So we have to walk a little bit to the entrance of this beach. Um, supposedly this beach is the best beach in St. Bart's. So we're going to see and confirm if that is true or not by checking him out. You okay, wifey? Meh. Okay. <laughs> well, there's a goat. A couple of goats there. Pretty interesting. But uh, yeah, as, as soon as we got here, like we just felt this is different. It's not the same. That's St. Martin, um, and uh, Angola also had a different feel, but this definitely feels like Europe in the Caribbean, for sure. It feels like you are in an aisle off of France, honestly. It, it, you know, there's the Caribbean vibes here, but at the same time, is that very strong French culture uh, taking over this beautiful island here in the Caribbean, so... Um, Never been to the French Isles before. I have gone to the Dutch because I've been to Aruba. And obviously spending a week in St. Martin, you get that same feeling. But being here, you really do feel that you're in a different place. So let's go check this out.
Wow. Another gorgeous beach here in the Caribbean with the beautiful mountains in the background. It's a thing of beauty here. Ooh, that sun is hot. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Same parts, baby. There's another beautiful beach. This one has waves. This one is another crystal clear paradise in the Caribbean. Look at this. Clear, crystal clear water. You can't ask for more than this. Or better than this. This is beautiful. In St. Bart's. How do you like it, my darling? it is the waves are nice and it's a lot of land you have to go through and it's still not deep yet so that's pretty nice too like the shore's all the way over there and... oh here comes a big wave We got Governor's Beach. This is a thing of beauty here in St. Bart's. What a paradise. I mean, we got the beautiful hills that look over this beach. This is incredible. It's hidden. Not many people know about this island. Not many people know about these beaches. It's spectacular.
So this, for me, has to be one of the most beautiful beaches I've ever visited in my life. Only thing I recommend is to have some water shoes for the entry. Some parts here it has like stone, but look at this. Incredible. So now we are in Fort Carl. Um, we're going to go see this fort. They said it's not much left of a fort, but you know, it's something to see here. So we're definitely gonna go check it out. Driving through um, St. Bart's and it's just a thing of beauty. Like it really does feel like I'm in Greece or, or France southern france and just driving through everything looks so beautiful so well put together um definitely it's it's real upscale here it really is and um you should definitely add it to a, your itinerary if you're going to saint martin for sure you got to stop here even stay here maybe one two three days definitely will do that uh, when i can but let's go for curl nice little pretty way up and uh, let's see what they have out there. So let's go. Fort Carl. I have no idea why everyone's beeping. Must be, a, I don't know, a game. A Celebration, I have no idea. <laughs> Okay, so I had to switch to the iPhone. GoPro is having a bit of some issues. That's okay though. Wow, look at this. This is beautiful. Look at that. So not much of a fort here, um, but a beautiful lookout. Beautiful. And then up here, I guess this is like what's remaining of the fort. Got these two little steps here. And this very nice. So I would say, depending on where the sun sets, I don't know if this is a, a good spot for that, but if um, I'm pretty more, I'm more than sure that you can get a, a beautiful sunset from here, whether you're looking this way or looking that way, like you know, this could be a very nice spot. Um, apparently here they have a lookout here binoculars so you can look at some whales in the area dolphins. so that's pretty cool you can also see dolphins here so um i would definitely do it for the views 
and uh, I did let go the drone to see how what shots we would get and we were permitted to fly here so that's a good thing couldn't really get that permission in St. Martin uh, I requested but I got denied but here I requested and it was okay beautiful Gardens of St. Barts. Let's check it out. Now it's time to go up to the lighthouse. Beautiful beach on the right side. You got that fort, which I definitely want to go see in a few. I'll try to check it out. That's the fort that I was really looking for. Uh, that's the fort over there. Well, there's no, really no fort there, but a nice lookout. So that's the one that I definitely want to see. Um, and then you have the lighthouse basically has Gustavia on it which is the capital of St. Bart's. So you can see this U-shaped city with the famous red tops. Now from here you can see some pretty pretty nice luxury uh, houses, rooms, Airbnbs, hotels. Look at those infinity pool with the view of Gustavia. It must be beautiful at the nighttime. Too bad that we're not gonna be here to see it you know. We'll definitely be back, I promise you. We'll be back. Beautiful. We're in a crab spot here in St. Bart's. Hi, Trinica. Hers has egg, and she has like pepperoni on it, chorizo, sausage. Looks great. shops all over beautiful little streets check it out it's beautiful here all right so we are here in front of the anglican church of saint bartholomew um and uh it's a thing of beauty here it says that it was uh basically established in 1855 so check it out it's just so so nice and if you look around you got the streets here check it out this side as well it's right in front of the port beautiful beautiful this is amazing i would love to worship here 
Okay, so now is our time to say goodbye to this beautiful island, St. Bartholomew. We're absolutely amazing. Definitely be back. Thank you.